Oh well, listen. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad. To, I'm glad to hear, hear about it from you. I mean, I'm. I'm. As you know, I'm just like I'm not a technical person. I'm very happy within the Bitcoin world. I'm very happy storing my money in Bitcoin. Very happy in building a business which is backed by Bitcoin or businesses. I understand. I, you know, what, you know what the big difference is. I know what Bitcoin is. Yeah. I still don't know what Ethereum is. I don't either, and I've been doing this for years. Yeah, it just seems like a big fucking mess of stuff. Like all this stuff, it can be, can do, and maybe people using it know what it is to them, and that, and that's fine, and that's cool for them. But for me, all you've done is you've revalidated why I care so much about Bitcoin because I care about the mission of separating money and state, giving people sound money. It's really simple. And by the way, so I agree with that yeah. mission. It's a, it's the best mission out there. We, we're only 2% of the way. I mean, you've talked to Alex about this many yeah. times and other folks who are doing this. We're only 2% of the way along the road to executing on that mission as Bitcoiners. We've got our work cut out for us. So it's not that there's not plenty of things for us to work on in Bitcoin with the tools we have at our disposal, right? But the thing is, it's the mission is simple. Like, what are you doing? Separate money and stay. What is it? Best form of money that ever existed. Sure. It's really easy to say what it is. What is Bitcoin? And this, it's a really easy mission to get behind. And then really, yeah, while Satoshi brought together all these complicated parts to create the system, actually the design is elegantly simple and beautiful. And right. I just think Ethereum is the exact opposite on everything. What is it? I don't know. I mean, it's a smart contract platform. It's ultrasound money. It's a platform if for NFTs. If you ask 10 people, you'll get 10 different answers. Yeah. What's the mission? I, I don't know what the mission. How does it do it? Well, it's all this fucking stuff. Again, ask 10 people, get 10 yeah. different answers. This is... I, and I, by the way, I've, I've heard Vitalik and other stakeholders in Ethereum admit that this is one of Ethereum's issues, is that it's a big tent, kind of politically, and it doesn't have a unifying mission. And this is a big part of my story, why I chose to stop contributing to that project two years ago. Well, this is why it's so important to separate what they are. Right. And I just say to Ethereum people, they really need to figure out what they are, what they're going to be. But it's almost what an impossible mission. they want to be when mission. they grow up. <laughs> well, it's almost an impossible mission because you either need that dictator to right. decide it, which would be Vitalik, or you let the community decide. But the community is so fractured in terms of what it has been and what it's going to be. The community is also very busy chasing number go up. Exactly. And that's frustrating to see. I mean, I'm actually, I love a lot of the stuff that's happened with NFTs recently because at least there's an element of creativity there. I shouldn't say there isn't in DeFi. There is as well. There's some very... There's a lot of creativity happening there, but it's DeFi hacks, it man. DeFi hacks. All I see is another hundred million here, another hundred million there, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Growing pains, <laughs> <laughs> mate. Honestly, listen, Lane. Always like talking to you. Uh, I consider you a good friend now, and I appreciate you coming on talking about this. We both will get some shit for various different reasons, but I do. I love. I, I learn so much from you, and you know, it just reinforces why I care about Bitcoin. The very simple mission we're on. Um, 